Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm the K-Pop Mailman. We're diving back into the debut series. It's been a minute, I know. I missed it. I missed you guys. I'm really excited to check out some new groups. Um, newer groups, I guess, since this is the first half of 2023 that we're almost done with. We're almost done with the first half, and then we can get into some of the second half of 2023. I know there's a lot of big hitters in the second half of 2023. Um, there's people that have asked me, like, hey, are you going to react to this? And I'm like, I will. It's coming, I promise, because it's part of the next section of 2023. We will be getting to it soon. We're, we're wrapping up the, the beginning half of 2023, and the group we're going to get into today is Vienix. Not sure if that's proper. Uh, it'd be, it's V I apostrophe E N X. So I would say V N X um, on my way. So this is going to be a boy group. Uh, we just did a girl group last time. And like I said in my last video, we will be kind of doubling up on boy groups here. Um, instead of going girl, boy, girl, boy, we're going to kind of do a girl, boy, boy, girl, because there's just more boy groups. Um, now that I'm looking at, we're closing out the beginning of 2023 here, like I said, the first half. And it seems like I'm going to have extra boy groups compared to the girl groups. So I'm going to try to sprinkle some extras in here and there so that we can kind of keep it even. Um, and so we don't get to the end and then it's just a bunch of boy groups, you know. So here we go. We're going to get into this. Know nothing about this group as well. This video is pretty long, so I don't know if we're going to get some story um, in it. It's uh, about a four, almost a four minute video. Um, not very common these days, um, unless you have a lot of storytelling. Um, musically, our um, songs have just gotten a lot shorter. And hey, if you don't have... A good bridge or anything like that to put in a song i'm fine with that i'd rather you not force something but i do miss my bridges we love bridges here if you don't know i love a good bridge so let's see maybe these boys are gonna offer us one let's check it out Ooh. oh my god that dance has me already i fucking love a good like kind of interpretive dance God, I love good transitions like that. So smooth. Okay, eat with the dancing. Ooh, that little slowdown. Love shouts. Oh, this guy's vocals, so I'm liking these little slowdowns edits. I try not to pause much, but I really, first off, they're great with their transitions and editing, but also these little slowdowns add some emphasis to the dance and just. Emotion. Right here, when he lifts, they slow it down in editing. Let's go. Come through, sir. Ah. I'm loving this shit, to be honest with you, for a debut. I like this shot. This is interesting. We see a lot of shipping container stuff in K-pop videos as of late, but uh, we've never seen them utilize one inside of it. It's usually just background. Horse is growing on me because it, at first it didn't it didn't grab me. Electronic 
Love group shouts. I love it. They're ever doing the slow, the slow thing. I said it was good, but that doesn't mean you just use it all the time. <laughs> They've used it a couple times now, and I'm like, you didn't need it there. Dance outro, maybe, is what we're getting here, it looks like. That did not feel like almost four minutes. Really? Nature Space. Not sure what that is, if that's a company they're from, maybe? Wow, I really like that. Um, It, it definitely had some areas that I was like... Like the chorus, when we got into the, the first chorus, like I just wasn't so sure on like i feel like it could have been more impactful maybe but it grew on me and so i don't know it just maybe it was one of those ones where it takes a little bit but other than that like i absolutely love this i think it's very obvious that they're from a kind of smaller company um nothing wrong with that i mean you know some companies just aren't as mainstream because they haven't had that breakout group or something like that to bring them into the mainstream or they don't have a just insane amount of money behind them to promote um so it's just you know you can tell but i think they utilized it very well you know, with the different sets they did, they were very impactful without being too over the top. Um, like I said, I really like that. Uh, we've seen these uh, container, uh, like shipping container, yard backdrops. It's been, you know, in videos here, there and everywhere. I mean, and Hypen had it in um, Pass the Mic. We had it in, uh, well, oh my gosh, I'm spacing on the name of the song. By and team, I just can't think of what was their debut fucking track. It's not Howling. Under the Skin, dude. I was obsessed with that song. I can't believe the, the name was evading me. I'm so sorry. Um, so like and team had it. Uh, I feel like we definitely had it in like some some stray kids videos back in the day. Like it's something that's been there. Um, but I don't feel like we've ever had a group utilize it from the inside. It's always just been part of the backdrop. And so they had it popped open. They had lights up in there and they were kind of doing that. Uh, the first time we saw it, there was only three of the guys in there, I think. And then in the end, we had all of them in there. Um, and uh, yeah, that was just something nice. Just a little thing that I thought was cool. And like I said, you don't have to have these big expansive sets to make an impression. I think if you utilize what you have and you do things that maybe are new, you're always going to grab people's attention. And they did, they did hear from me. I uh, love the song. I think that they had a great balance of some beautiful vocals. The production sounded really good. Um, then there was the one rapper, man, he came in and he, he made a statement. He was like, I'm here. And, and he kind of had some growls in there. And I'm just like, okay, sir. Okay, sir. So if you guys wouldn't mind, let me know who that gentleman is. Um, I'm interested. I'm definitely intrigued by this group. This is a group that I'm definitely going to share with some, besides obviously I'm sharing it with you guys. Um, you know, one of my friends, yeah, GB, who, like I've said before, has kind of inspired this uh, series. I'll be letting her know about this group if she doesn't already know, because she knows so many groups. She is insane. I don't understand. She's not human. I don't know how she has time to to <laughs> listen to and uh, interact with all these groups she does. Uh, it's wild to me. But uh, I really enjoyed this. The only thing that's like I said, I really like their transitions were solid. They also had that little slowdown they were using to emphasize the dance. The dances were really good, um, especially in the beginning, kind of having a more contemporary, like interpretive type thing. You kind of, you know, it's like it's telling a story. Very beautiful. Um, the boys seemed like they really knew what they were doing. Uh, the editing, like I said, was good. The transitions, those slowdowns to emphasize and move was really good until they started overusing it. They started to use it in kind of a pattern. They would be like this so long and then they'd use it again. And there was a couple there towards the end that just weren't necessary uh, to me. Um, in the beginning, they were really good. I feel like it just worked better when they were on an emphasis of some a kind of more close-up dance between two people to, like I said, accentuate a movement, like when he lifted his head. Like, that made sense. But some of these other ones, it was just such a broad, wide shot. To me, the slowdown just kind of draws attention in, in a negative way. It's very empty. It's an empty use of it, in my opinion. It just wasn't there to accentuate as much. So that's just my opinion. Other than that, this was great. This is going on the playlist 100%. No doubts in my mind. Um, yeah, let me know if you guys listen to this group, if they have any other content out, any other music, uh, what your uh, your your favorite song, if there is any more. Um, and also, yeah, let me know who that rapper is. The one gentleman had a really great voice, too. 
um but i can't really i think i mentioned it in the video so you guys know drop some of the names and drop some of the info down in the comments i really appreciate you um also if you like the video make sure you give me a thumbs up down below and subscribe if you want to see more content from me guys i really appreciate you guys hanging with me i know it's been kind of intermittent lately just kind of how this channel is going to be unfortunately i just don't have the time to do this as full time as i would love to um so i appreciate you guys sticking with me and i will see you guys in the next video have a good day